back a little bit, is that right? Okay. Um, and today is the most consequential election, I think, in the modern history of this country, and the choices are very clear. Uh, if you believe that women have a constitutional right to control their own bodies, the choice is clear. If you think that climate change is real and not a hoax, and I think we in Vermont have dealt with the consequences of climate change, the choice is, is clear. If you think at a time of massive income and wealth inequality, when the very richest people are becoming richer, that we should not raise the minimum wage to a living wage, the choice is pretty clear. So I hope that here in Vermont, uh, we have a large voter turnout. I hope we show the way that uh, we need Kamala uh, in the White House and that we defeat somebody who really is trying in many ways to undermine American democracy. Okay. Senator, how confident are you about holding the Senate, and how will you uh, advocate for Vermonters on the Health Committee if you lose your chair? Well, I don't want to speculate. We don't know. I think there's, it, I think it's absolutely true that Democrats are running. Uh, we got some seats that we have to defend, uh, and we'll see what happens. But you know, I've been very proud of the record that I've established as chairman of the Health Education Labor Committee. We've stood up for workers' rights with significant success. We've lowered the cost of prescription drugs and for the first time in the history of the United States actually Medicare is going to be negotiating prescription drug prices with a very greedy uh, pharmaceutical industry. So we've made some progress there. You know, I'm proud of the fact that we are expanding veterans programs around the state of Vermont. So, you know, I'm proud of what we're doing and we'll see what happens. Obviously, my hope is that the Democrats retain uh, control of the Senate. It's an uphill fight, but I, it's possible. Uh, I hope the Democrats, in what will be a very close election, regain control over the House. Senator, is this the last time we see your name on a ballot? Let's not speculate, but <laughs> got six years to worry about that one, huh? How confident are you to get the next six years against well, your opponent, Gerald Malloy? Look, we have had events all over the state. We've worked really hard, and uh, I just uh, look forward to serving again, uh, if that is the wish of the people of Vermont. How concerned are you with the possibility of Trump claiming election fraud or is That's a good question. Uh, look, um, you know, one of the reasons I would hope, and you're seeing this, I mean, there is a reason why people like Mike Pence, Trump's vice president, the guy who was at his side for four years, is not supporting uh, Trump. There is a reason why John Kelly, his chief of staff, this is his right-hand guy, is not supporting him. Why Mitt Romney, who, you know, is a very conservative guy, was the 2012 Republican candidate for president of the United States, is not supporting Trump, and that's precisely the reason. We live in a democracy, and the essence of a democracy is these elections, okay? And sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. I have lost elections, you know? No one likes to lose. When you get on the phone, you congratulate the winner. You don't say, as Trump is literally saying today, it's the only way I could lose an election if there's fraud. What does that mean? That means that he can't lose the election. He's going to win. So I would hope that even our conservative friends out there may disagree with me on every issue. But people like Liz Cheney, for example, who I have nothing in common with politically, understand that Trump does not believe in the foundations of American democracy. So uh, yes, I am deeply concerned about that, and uh, we will see what happens. And do you anticipate to see another January 6th? I don't want to speculate. I certainly hope to God not. I was there, and that is not what this country needs. Okay, thank you all very much. Thank you, sir.